represent all of the people and not just the wealthiest and most powerful. In America today, and all of you should know this, we are the only nation in the industrialized world that does not guarantee health care to all people as a right. In my view, not only should we strengthen Medicaid, not only should we make sure that children and people with disabilities and low-income people are not thrown off of Medicaid, we should expand Medicaid and Medicare so that every person in this country, regardless of income, has health care as a right of citizenship. I tell you that in my state, it's a small state, the state of Vermont, thank you, we are hoping to lead this country into a Medicare for all single payer health care system. People must understand, and why your presence here is so important, is that people must understand that when they talk about making terrible cuts in Medicaid, do you know what they are actually talking about? Let's be clear. This year, according to a study at Harvard University, 45,000 Americans will die because they don't get to a doctor when they should and they don't have any health insurance. What do you think will happen if we throw more children off of Medicaid more people with disabilities off of Medicaid, more low-income workers off of Medicaid. What we're talking about is a death sentence. People will Ooh. die because they do not get to a doctor when they should. In this great country, our job is to make sure that all of our people have health care and not seeing children and working people and people with disabilities dying because they can't get to a doctor when they need to. So our fight now is to make sure that Social Security is not cut because Social Security is life and death to seniors and people with disabilities. Our job is to make sure that Medicare is not cut or that the eligibility age is not raised. And our job is to make sure that Medicaid remains strong and is not cut. The last point that I want to make, it is a wonderful sight to see you all here, and I'll tell you why. Because day after day, we have lobbyists coming up on Capitol Hill who come from Wall Street, come from the insurance companies, come from the military industrial complex. It is wonderful to see grassroots America come to Capitol Hill. And the last point that I would make is that if some of our friends want to go forward in deficit reduction, they can ask the wealthiest people in this country to finally stop paying their fair share of taxes. They can ask corporations that make billions of dollars in profits to stop paying their fair share of taxes. And they can end the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan and use that money to make sure that our people have the health care that they need. Thank you all very much for being here. The thanks working with you.